Hello, hi, I am Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumins Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois, and I'm also a Rod and Staff Union. I hope you're doing well, but these energies have been weird again, okay? First, I'd like to say I hope everyone had a lovely holiday or a nice holiday weekend, although some of that might have been even weird for some of you. You might have felt a bit nostalgic. You might have felt some weirdnesses from the people around you or your family. Now, not everyone celebrates uh, Thanksgiving in Canada. It's the month before, but a lot of people are feeling some of this energy. So we are still in this Mercury retrograde energy. You're having some advanced stuff here. You're in the shadow part and you are in the deep shadow part. You're in the deep. This is going to be the stuff that really needs to get out. And there's a reason it needs to get out. It's because you're intended to be in love and you're intended to be back together. So I'm going to talk about a few things in this video. And the first thing I want to tell you about is it is ending the why. So we're in a time frame here where a lot of people are feeling confused. Okay, that's the overwhelming pervasive emotion is confusion. Okay, not quite apathy. It's not quite disinterest, although it might be a little bit of that, but it's confusion. And you are ending that why, but why, but why this, but why that, but why that, but why that, but what about, the, and a lot of those are ending. I also want to let you know that you are ending the traumas, the past life trauma. You are ending the bitter endings. Anytime you and your twin have had some disappointment or bitterness or bitter ending with things, you're going to be living it now in a sort of reliving it sense. You might not actually have anything happen, or you might have a small disappointment that brings out a lot of emotion. And that's the other thing about this energy is one little thing can bring a ton of emotion with it. Sometimes several emotions all at once. And that's also confusing because you might be saying, but why? In a few videos ago, I told you about some of the bad memories leaving. Okay. The memories are gone for the most part, or you may only see them in certain ways but you're going to get rid of your repository of emotions. And this is going to include things that have to do with personal physical fights and strife. It's things right down to your physical level, things that you've experienced in a physical life, which means present life and past lives, so that it's not there in your future life with each other. This is going to be patterns this is going to be child trauma, discipline, child dis-ease, child neglect, poor nutrition. And there will be a lot of mental chaos with this leading to emotional turmoil. And there can even be lives that I would define as, have you died before you were able to connect? And I want to define the word connect. This doesn't mean meet each other. This means connect your parts together. So to give you an idea of this, I prepared a handy dandy little uh, depiction here. And if you have two people that once they've met, they feel each other. And sometimes people will feel things that they don't want to feel or they will feel things waft over from their twin from miles away. But you're in the process of connecting your subtle bodies. You are connecting the high heart and the eyes. You are connecting the high mental, not the ego mind, not the ego. And you are connecting your psyche. Okay. So these are things that happen, but what tends to happen also is these are only three of your 
five to seven subtle bodies for the most for most people. Okay. And these are only connection points at the point of meeting. So if one of you is holding these connections, you actually cannot deny that this will go further. And some people take the ball and run with it and they say, oh, I've got all these gifts and I'm going to go out and I've got to do this and this and this. And they book in the other direction. They just go Pew! and they leave. And they expect that everything is equalized, but it's not equalized yet. And there were two other things that are critical to move into place. And this is going to be the spirit body, okay? And it's going to be your causal body, okay? And all of these connect, and they stay connected and anchored to the physical human form. But these are your cosmic level connections. These are the things that enable you to to elevate and remain connected. Now, there are key differences about these parts of you than there have been in past lives. And this is why, in many ways, you are divesting things and why you're feeling things, okay? You might feel bitterness. You might feel bitter disappointment. You might feel um, a sense of frustration and exhilaration all at the same time. You might feel very so frustrated with your twin and trying to, you know, get them to do this stuff with you, okay? But I'm here to tell you that only one of you needs to make these connections and draw each other's significant subtle body parts in. However, some people are using a really heavy method. You're using the cleaver or the hammer when you need to be using a feather, okay? You need to be very delicate. And you need to understand that this is about balance. It's about moderation. It's about balance. And it is a process. So for those people who don't understand that these subtle bodies mean subtle, this is why I have the example of a feather, okay? If you do not know how to do this, if you do not know what's going on with your body, why does this keep happening? And a lot of people do that. They go and, you know, run to, you know, the internet. They're, you're doing research, and that's normal. Everyone does it. It's normal to research it and say, why? Why does my body feel like it's blown in gasket? Why does my body feel like this? Why does it feel like that? There sometimes will not be those answers except in twin flame stuff. If you're going to talk about rocket science, you get a rocket scientist. If you're going to talk about twin flame stuff, you get a twin flame expert. That's me. And I have several things that I have prepared already to assist with this. Now, just to let you know, some of the things that people are already experiencing and will experience, okay, you're having uh, the backside of the bitterness that does affect your body, that does affect how you feel. It, it affects your sense of well-being. A lot of people like things that say, here's the one solution you need. Well, as I can show you here, there's at least five. <laughs> there's not just one. There's minimum five subtle body parts to you. And there's two of you. So that makes it a bit complicated, as you say, okay? And yet, even as complicated as things may feel, I'm here to help simplify this. So I have a live class in December on the 9th and the 10th where I will not only uh, do some chakra balancing, but I will help you to open your own channels, teach you, teach you the go-to things. And yes, I expect my people to graduate, because I am a teacher that wants people to progress further. You're not just here to be 
writing solo anymore. You're here to be together. And that's important because many people are forgetting this part or they get to feeling better and they forget that they left their twin out there. You know, are you actually disabling your twin? Has your twin disabled you in some way? Are you struggling with some part? How do you get the love back and the feathery, sensual touch again? That stuff that lifts you up, that makes you feel alive. How do you do it when you're not able to be together? How do you do it across the miles? I know the ways of how to do this. I have an online webinar about the psyche, the inner to the outer. On November 30th, that's um, at 8 a.m. Central Time. That would be the afternoon in the UK. Or December 1st at 7 p.m. That's 7 p.m. Chicago time. That's in the evening. That tends to be good for Australia, West Coast of the United States, parts of South America, parts of Asia, India, Japan, Korea. Uh, Indonesia, I hope I'm not missing anyone, New Zealand, Tasmania, and if you would like to join those, I do also highly recommend this. Now, in addition to that, I have some things that have to do with what people are going through. This one, the return of your life. There are several subjects I cover in here. I cover before and after awakening your pain bodies, and how to best divest them. Angelic pain, which is different than human pain. Your angelic pain is different. And there's different things you have to do to get rid of it. Early menopause and erectile dysfunction. Early menopause. So if you're on the journey and you're experiencing some changes in your menstrual cycle or changes in your testosterone cycles, or your androgen cycles, and you're aware of this, and your body feels oogie at certain times of the month. And I do talk about that in there and what it is and what to do about it. There are recommendations in there to help you ease through this. Um, and I also talk about males in union and the things that they go through. And yes, I do this with guidance, and I've done it from personal things that I have done to assist the masculine sides of myself. The other one, expansion of love erasing the past. I talk about twin flame phenomenon and symbolics, some of the things that trouble people, like when your twin is in the wind tunnel, like some of the other stuff that people see and it can't be explained. I have that information in here. I talk about um, exactly what we're in here, this uh Retrograde energy, Uranus and Pluto, and the dark side, the dark shadowy parts of things. Grief. Where is this deep level of grief coming from? I talk about your new angelic parts, and I talk about um, control and honoring yourself in here. And yes, I do talk about how to erase the past. Now, this is helpful for people if you've had a past relationship. If your twin is in a relationship, a marriage, boyfriend, girlfriend, friends with benefits, any of that, addictions, whatever they are having a relationship where they seem stuck with it, are they in relation, are they married to something other than you and that's how it feels? That's essentially what you need help erasing the past on. Expansion of love, erase the past. Now, I want to give you some examples of, you know, this personal fighting and trauma, okay? And some of this gets practically prehistoric. It really does. So, let's say you have a couple, and they are knowing they love each other, but somehow, some way, every time he does a certain thing, she gets triggered. But she doesn't get triggered. She wants to throw things. She wants to throw dishes. She wants to break things. It just builds up in her until it's an explosion. And he can't understand it. And, and worst of all, he can feel it. It pushes on his gut. It gives him a stomach ache. It gives him a headache. And he doesn't know what to do. And she doesn't know what to do because she always feels bad about it afterwards. And yet there it is. 
this primal violence, this primal defense, this primal caveman pick up a rock and throw it at someone. And, you know, there they are. And that is a part of the, what I talked about last time, the animal, the animal instincts, the protections, the, the things that have happened with physical fights and strife. If you're struggling, if you are in certain things, you are not going to be able to, okay? Other things, child trauma. I've had a number of people who have had blunt trauma. They've had concussions. They've banged their heads so badly. Um, they've been hit with something. They've been hit by someone. They've had car accidents. They have had undiagnosed or untreated damage, injuries, and trauma. The body wants to repair that. All of it has to come out. So I'll give you an example. At one time, someone was um, driving in the car, and, you know, I was walking, and I was about to cross the alley, and um, as I was crossing the alley, here comes a car, and there was a kid ahead of me, and he was on his bike, and this car, without looking, and he didn't look either, they hit each other. She hit the kid with her car, and he went sliding across her hood and over the other side, and he was a kid in my class. We were about eight years old at the time, and this poor kid, he, he got up, and he was limping, and I caught his eye, and in that moment, I knew what he was thinking. Because this is what the psyche lets you know. Okay, my psyche has been very highly open since I was a child. But in that moment, this is what it felt like. I didn't look both ways. I'm going to be in trouble. It's my fault. And I realized, too, that the person was slightly drunk. And she was so apologetic. She kept saying, honey, are you okay? Honey, come here. And he kept saying, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And inside that boy, I just knew he was going to be in trouble if he told. He was in trouble one way or the other. He was injured. He needed help. And he was afraid of his parent. Now, how many of you have been afraid for someone else's reaction? Causal body. That's when someone's hammering at your causal body, berating you. Drill sergeants do this. You're nothing. You're a piece of this. You're a piece of that. And they will use the hammer. They're using the hammer and they're literally browbeating you. And some, some of you know you have a brow chakra, right? Browbeating you, hammering at you. Or cutting you. People cut you with sarcasm. They cut you with um, words. They put you down. They berate you. They demean you. And sometimes that happens in marriages and relationships. I have another example. I was that same kid. We were told, don't ride your bikes in, your, in the street. And we were so proud of ourselves. Me and my best friend, we were going to defy our mothers. We didn't think of it that way. But in many ways, we were defiant. We were those rebels. We were those indigo kids. And yes, we rode our bike and... The minute I thought about it, I lost my balance and I fell against the car and I split my head open. I, you know, I split the scalp open and we went to my friend's mother and she said, oh, you have to go home and you have to tell your mom. And I was like, oh no, I can't tell. I'll be in trouble. She told me not to ride in the street and look what happened. Okay. And a lot of us have had these kind of child traumas, but for some people it's really bad. And for a lot of the masculine, they've been told to suck it up. They've been told, be a guy, be a man. Don't ignore your pain or do something. But you see, your light body doesn't want to hold that with you. Your subtle bodies need to be completely fresh and new. Your causal body doesn't want to carry drill sergeants with it. Your spirit is what keeps you alive and thriving. And these other parts of you, the mental, how to know things, how to discern things, the high heart and the eyes connection, seeing only each other. How do you do this? So some other examples that I've had, and mind you, some of this goes into ancient history. It goes to 
not just the sexual traumas, it goes to how people are disciplined. And I'm going to show you something else. These, um, let's say, job areas or sectors of our society are the ones undergoing some of these transformations and changes. Okay. Science and technology has already been starting up. Medical and healing professions have already been starting up. Music and the arts have been way starting up. And thank you all you musicians and artists because you give us great songs and lyrics that help us feel connected with our twin. Politics. Now this is some stuff that goes into really ancient history and religion, really ancient history. So what if you grow up in a family that says, spare the rod and spoil the child, essentially giving permission for child trauma or discipline. I've spoken to a number of people that have received some, been on the receiving end of really strange disciplines or ways of disciplining the children. And when it comes to twin flames or burgeoning twin flames or twin flames who will thrive, the first thing that happens is the spirit gets affected, the etheric body gets affected. The parts of you that are trying to open and blossom can't. Someone's depressed it, depressed it. Dis-ease. How many people who have had undiagnosed diseases from other lives? Eye diseases, skin diseases, stomach disorders, parasites. You know, some of the things that here on earth, we sort of take it into stride. And yet, that's not how you're intended to live either. So this retrograde is for a lot of the deep stuff, a lot of the deep cosmic level stuff. Stuff that your minds may not understand, but join my webinar where I get answers for you. I have a presentation prepared already. Join my live class. It's in Chicago, in my studio, or get one of these, the return of your life expansion of love. Now, if you have questions, yes, I do sessions. Yes, I do one-on-one -on -one sessions. I do spirit chat, which is questions and answers. I do two types of other sessions, which are reconnective sessions, and they are private one-on-one. -on -one. So whether or not you would like to join something to further help you, please join. Join us. Learn how to do this with a feather and not a hammer or a cleaver. I can tell you that a lot of us are done with this approach. Even when it comes to cord cutting, hack it off, hack it off. What if there's an easier, softer, gentler way that doesn't make your twin feel, feel it from the other side going, oh, what was that? Oh, what was that? Or the, the relationship patterns. How do you cut the cords with the very cutting relationship patterns that people have? You know, and you know what I'm talking about. We have people and what has he brought to the encounter? He's brought something here that his family taught him sarcasm. Oh, hey, did you just roll out of bed because your hair's looking like you did? Ha, ha, ha. And she's saying, my God, I just went to the salon. Why doesn't he see that? And it could be as subtle as that. And yet when it's your twin flame, hurts, hurts, hurts like a knife. And the main thing is, is when you have your connections brought in deeply the way that they need to, and you have the parts of you that belong to you back, where someone hasn't taken your spirit, where someone isn't still embedded in your causal body because they're the most powerful person in your universe. No more most powerful people, only each other. When your psyche has things, and, and by the way, please stop with the large words. Okay, get back to some of the smaller words like love, hug, and kiss, and things like that. Okay, lips, eyes. Okay, you need all the parts of you so that you can elevate and continue ascending. You're at that point, and if you're still wondering, if you're still looking for that one answer, 
come and find out what the answer is because the answer is being in love. Okay. Your mission, that should you choose to accept it because you already accepted. You're already in it here. You're already in it to win it. Okay. You're already a part of this. Okay. Get the things that you need to know and learn because it is new. It's not based in ancient text or ancient drama or ancient drama or ancient religion or anything like that. Okay, you can find little bits and pieces, but I am here with the information about your light body because you have a twin flame body. You have one, okay? And... The things that you may not know or may not have been able to accomplish in a past life. Have you died before you were able to connect? That means connect your subtle bodies, not see each other with your eyes. Not just say, oh, hi, there you are, and embark on, you know, what either feels like an emotional affair or a sexual affair, and you don't know what to do with it. And one of you maybe knows, and the other one doesn't, and seems to come and go, and you say, when are they going to get it? Okay, heaven and earth is being moved in this retrograde energy. So the very thing that you wish for, I wish my twin would stop, it's being removed. Help draw them in. I wish my twin would get out of that relationship. It's being removed. Help with that. Draw them into you. How do you do that? That's what I teach. I teach you how to retain. I'm teaching you about retaining the love. No matter where you are in the universe, we're starting right here at ground zero, right here, right after you left the fourth dimension, because you're leaving the fourth dimension. You're leaving the old paradigm behind. A lot of people are aware of that. They're like, oh, goodbye, old paradigm. Goodbye, patriarchal matrixy, you know, this and that. Goodbye, old electric feminine. I've had enough of your bossiness. Goodbye. Mr. Man stuff. I've had enough of your bossiness. Yes, well, I, okay. And they, no, you're, you're going to get rid of things in a very different way. You're not intended to argue or fight about it. Although some people do. Your time in the physical presence with your twin is not to go into ancient history. It's not. Your time in the physical presence of your twin or even in the etheric presence of your twin is to be light and lovely. And if you don't know how to do that, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay. Maybe this is new to you. Maybe you're just finding out what a series of body sensations or meeting a person means to you. Maybe this is so new that you're not quite sure. Well, come and learn. Come and find out. You have the opportunity to ask questions in either my live class or my live online class, and I do my best to get on-the-spot guidance for you. It is guidance. It is not my ego. It is not any of that. I started by doing body work on people, and me doing this and being in earnest has not just been from my childhood, although it has. It's actually been since several lives. However, in earnest from 2003. So that's about 14 years and I know that there's people who say I've been 30 years in this journey and God bless you. That is an excellent thing. But people are at different speeds with this. This is for everyone. While some people are saying that everyone is a twin flame, au contraire, everyone is. People are just different parts of the process with it. The first and foremost thing is putting yourself back into a one state of being. So don't let the things of the mind mess you up too much, okay? Feel with your heart. Come and find out. Come and get answers. Come and get some go-to things. Because when you part, you will have some go-to things under your belt. You will have what to do about this. Several of the people I've taught are finding that they are very adept in these energies and it's not bothering them a lot. Other people, you know, they might be at a different point in the process. So thank you so much. Remember, a nice feathery touch with each other, a little bit goes a long way. 
and for you too, okay? And your feathers, those are your angel wings, okay? Remember, remember that you're here to be in love. And you are the light and the love. Doesn't matter what you do for a living. You're the light and the love bringing the light and the love there. You are the ones that are the living bridges. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope to see you here at either my webinar or my live class. Write to me either on my website, www.twinflamesmerge.com. And please subscribe if you like these updates. I will have more and we will be getting there. So thanks so much. Bye now.